Hi everyone, and welcome to a video without snow. Last weekend was a long weekend for us in British Columbia with relatively mild temperatures in the forecast. So Steve and I set out to spend the weekend at our off-grid property and soak up the feel in a spring in the middle of February. With too much snow still up at the top of the mountain, driving in wasn't possible, so we threw everyone in the boat and off we went. Okay, a little bit of chaos, trying to get everyone in here at the same time, so we can go. <laughs> There's Arrow up there too. Uh, we have no protection here because the uh, water is so low. So Steve has to go park the boat somewhere else. So I'll just start carrying all this stuff up. Okay, we got here, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. And already, Clyde is 940 yards away. He is down the shore that way. Silly, silly boy. We're just kind of getting ourselves situated and we have to go get water from the lake. So Steve just went down with a jug to go get some water. And we're just trying to get the place warm. The only downside about this property in the off season is it's dark here. Yeah, there's sun across the lake. <laughs> but we're in the dark here, fortunately. So the wind is windy. The wind is howling. And you can hear these. These are these dump resistors. Ooh, they're hot, 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 hot. From the wind generator. 0.2, anyway, it was putting in like five amps a little bit ago. And this is on float, so <laughs> look at me pretending like I know what that means. Steve says it means that the batteries are full. My south gate. We're also gonna try and fill up the hot tub and it's really dependent on if the hose, if the uh, black, the one inch black line can reach the water. We're trying to make the line long enough to reach the water. We're short and we have one five foot section. The water is exceptionally low right now. What? You have one? Yeah, this. Now we need, you know where any clamps are? Well, there's clamps on there. There's cl clamps on each end. Uh-huh. Need a wrench. It'd be really nice. We're here for two sleeps. It'd be really nice to have the hot tub. Struggling with a limited selection of proper tools out here. Want me to get some pliers? Yeah. Uh, Pull that off. They have a flat head too. <laughs> the lengths we're going through. Let's try to get this the, to uh, work. Where's the other thing? The clamp. 
soak the end in hot water. All right, both hands. Okay. Here, here's this thing. This might work. Okay. Get the screwdriver. Nope, oh, darn, he went back up. Oh. Five. I know. It reaches. Up we go. Oops. You definitely need to set that up better so it's not such a struggle. Family there. Look at how calm it is out there now. Beautiful. It's funny when we first put this hot tub here, we had cut down a lot of trees and a whole bunch more grew. <laughs> we used to kind of be able to see the lake a lot more, but it's kind of wind protection too, which is nice. Okay. <laughs> it's 510 and he's 370 yards away. <sighs> uh, he's moving more up the mountain naturally as it's getting later. We should have got him earlier, but <sighs> just got to him. Clyde, what are you doing? Clyde, trying. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. I know. I know, you silly old fart. Come on, Rat Norton, let's go. Clyde. Clyde. Darling. I don't think I have. Here, I have some little cheats in here. Hey, Riley. Clyde is just such a different species of dog. He just 
Like his nose just takes him places and he literally forgets who he is, where he came from, how to get back home. And there is no way he would have ever found his way back to the cabin that night. We're so glad for those GPS Garmin collars. to cook dinner and we like I was like the propane isn't working and Steve went out and looked and a rat chewed the propane line put a pl pl plug in there really oh, yeah it seems like working okay we should have extra hoses out here, you know? Yeah, there is a hose, but I might know if that was the leaky one. But we should get a this one here, this, so we can switch it back and forth. There. Okay, good. In action. <laughs> I don't have to cook on the, I was all prepared to cook on the wood stove. Ugh. Temperature. Don't know. The thing doesn't. The thing broke last year. Was well, it warm? It's good enough. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Right come in. Sure. We had a really lovely weekend, and so did the dogs and cat. It was such a nice break away from all of the snow at home, and equally as nice to escape from our world enveloped in the internet cell phones and connectedness. Instead, it was filled with silence in the air, nature, and of course, several episodes of Hogan's Heroes. We hiked up to see the cabin on a cliff, went on a variety of other walks and hikes. And in the 10 years we've had this property, we have never seen as much cougar poop and cougar prints as we saw this time around. On our hike up to the cliff, not far from the main cabin, we saw a fairly fresh deer hoof and there aren't many other known creatures in the area to hunt deer other than mountain lions. There's definitely a cat living nearby, so we set up a couple of game cameras before we left. Kind of um, making me nervous about the future of my um, <laughs> cabin building up there. I had planned on kind of coming down to stay at the main cabin and hiking up back and forth at some point in the next month but uh, I don't think I'll be doing that now I'll probably just stay up top
not that often that it's for like calm. So I wanted to take that opportunity and have a fire. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up, but. Other than when we first got here yesterday, it's been calm, so it's been nice. Honestly, if it wasn't for the hands, I think I could have stayed in like another 10 seconds. Let me do it once more. is good. Hi, Tunky. Oh. Woo. <sighs> Having the big tub is nice, though. I know. You can, like, it swim. Is, uh, you can do the front crawl. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh. It is big and a lot of wood and a lot of work, but, oh. It's good to have out here. We're on our way home, everybody. <laughs> Poor Southgate. It's raining. Sorry, Southgate. Bye, cabin. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>